To the Chiefs and the Chiefs mess, those who have recently joined our ranks, I say to you, congratulations. You have made it successfully through phase two. What a great day. Uh, I certainly hope that you were able to articulate clearly to your families what it means to be a chief in the world's finest Navy, to be part of the top 10% that our Navy has to offer and our enlisted force. Congratulations, once again, to you, to your families, please, oh please, make it clear to them the importance and how much we rely on you in our Navy for leadership. Now, it's time for you to be the chief. Be the chief, step out there right now and be that subject matter expert. Step out right now and lead your sailors, help guide and groom and create an environment for growth, help to coach them in a way that they can be successful. And I'll tell you right now, chiefing ain't easy. It just ain't easy. Very factually, that process that you just completed, CPO 365 phase two, was supposed to be hard so that you would be strong, that you would be bold and courageous. And so be that. The Navy needs you right now. And if, that, if the Navy needs you, that means that our nation needs you. And as the leader of the free world, that means that the world needs you. So be the chief and do it well. And thankfully, you've got resources, 30,000 of us. There are 30,000 chiefs in our Navy. Use all of your resources, not just technology. Reach out and you go see that chief. You go see that senior chief, that master chief, that command master chief, perhaps. You use those resources that you have been fully welcomed into. Use those resources to the benefit of our mission, of our sailors, and even for yourselves. Do that and be strong. And lastly, I'll tell you, being the chief, I have an expectation that you are guiding your sailors when it comes down to getting to the left of destructive decision making. Now, yes, alcohol is certainly the cause of many of our destructive decisions, but there are other abusive habits that could create destructive decisions. My expectation is that you lead your sailors beyond those destructive decisions, beyond the misuse of alcohol or any other substance out there, guide them in a way that they can be successful. Help us get to the left of those destructive decisions so that we can be a better and more effective fighting force. Our sailors are more innovative, they are more creative, they are more willing to be a part of our mission when they are doing it with a healthy lifestyle. And my expectation of you, Chief, is to ensure that you are a part of that healthy lifestyle, that lifestyle of education, because we are always learning. We must always seek knowledge and useful knowledge for the betterment of our fellow sailors and for our mission and for ourselves. We must always seek after that. A lifestyle of fitness, very, very important to our Navy, and then treating each other with dignity and respect. So do that, do it well. I'll be right here, right by your side, fighting for victory. Strength and honor. Sleep camp out. Who's pride? Who's pride?